Yo, what's going on YouTube? We back at it, man. I'm um today's leg day, all right? <laughs> Today is leg day, so we're going to start off with some squats. I did a, a slight warm up. I use kettlebells to warm up. I'll do like some kettlebell deadlifts and like some kettlebell goblet squats. Just like two sets, you know, just to warm my glutes up, warm my hips up so I can get into like a nice depth when I'm doing these barbell squats. So I'm warmed up and let's jump into some squats, man. We coming up the pyramid, so one set, two set. Now we're on the third set, man. Let's go to three plates. And this is where the work really begins for me. I'm ready, I'm ready. How you they crap hot like this Betty? They say that drop hot and it's ready. Hey, what's up, Ashley? How you doing? Oh, you're good. I'm lightheaded as shit. Hey. <laughs> Fuck, I'm lightheaded. <sighs> How many did I hit? I have not hit four plates in a very long time. Just because I haven't really been trying to squat heavy because I wanted to just like fully correct my hips, get that pinching pain out of my hips. So I've been doing other leg workouts, still doing squats, but just haven't been going heavy. So like, that's what's up, man we're getting pretty heavy. Like last week I did do squats, but I stopped at three plates and a quarter and I only hit that shit four times. So hitting four plates for four today is really good. And we hit three plates and a quarter for eight today. So that's progress. And what I'm noticing is it's like your body's, like my body's really strong. Cause I used to be able to do this shit easy back in the day. So it's like my body's still that strong. It's just like a conditioning issue. You gotta condition yourself to hit this weight. So if you stop hitting this weight for a while, it's like your body's still strong enough to hit it. You just gotta like condition that shit again to hit it. 
That's what this is uh, telling me. So listen, this is how you get big legs, man. You gotta do the shit that you do not like to do, okay? I don't think anybody really likes squats. There's some crazy motherfuckers out there that do, and they like that fucking pain, but like, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I always, I hate squats, hate doing this shit, but it's the best thing you can do, so it's like, you gotta do it. If you want big legs, it's the type of shit you gotta do. So look, we about to drop set. I mean, I got a little bit of rest in, so it's not an immediate drop set, but we're gonna drop set this shit back down to three plates and hit that again. So we came up the pyramid. Damn, how many sets did we get coming up the pyramid? We did one plate, two plate, three plate, three and a half. Four plates is the top of the pyramid for me. That's the fifth set. But with squats, man, it's always good to come back down the pyramid. Because to get big legs, you gotta do shit for volume. Like four reps ain't gonna cut it, even if it's heavy weight. You gotta do heavy weight for volume. So coming back down to three plates and hopefully getting it for 10, dropping that shit again to two plates and maybe get it for 15, something crazy like that. That's how you gotta get big, that's how you get big legs. Nice. You see, leg days are supposed to be annoying. To be honest, you're supposed to be scared of your leg day. You are not supposed to be looking forward to that shit. Like I said, there's some crazy motherfuckers out there that are crazy and they love that pain. But when you do these tough ass leg days, bro, it's hard to look forward to it. Right back into two plates. That's good. Whew. It's good because you gotta protect your body. And I felt my lower back, you know, spazzing a little bit, getting a little involved. And that's when I know now, rack that shit. You ain't supposed to compromise your lower back for some leg gains, bro. That's what I used to do back in the day. It leads to injuries. It leads to your body not working optimally. 
you're gonna be stiff as hell for no reason. Like leg days are gonna make you sore, but they don't always gotta make you like jacked up and your body discombobulated. If you actually do a really good squat, it's kind of like a loaded stretch because you're in the squat position and you're just stretching your muscles out and taking this weight through a range of motion. If you do a perfect, it's almost like a loaded stretch and you're not supposed to be so jacked up after you do it. Yeah, your legs are gonna be sore, but I'm talking about when your shoulders get all fucking kinked up, lower back be all out of place and shit. That's because you're not doing it right. So yeah, done with squats. And how to get big legs. I encourage you. Whew. And how to get big legs, I encourage you. Spend a lot of time at the squat rack. Squats to me isn't one of those where you just do five sets or four sets, four sets to 10 and get the fuck out of there. Squats is like, spend your time there. As you see, we just did like seven sets. One plate, two plate, three plate, three and a half, four. Back down to three, back down to two. It's like seven sets. <sighs> squats is where it's at. So you gotta spend a lot of time there. Don't be like, oh, I wanna get to the next exercise. No, this is the best exercise. So take your fucking time, spin it here. And then once you're done, once you're done with squats, if you do that shit right, to be honest, you could fucking go home because you just made a bunch of leg gains. But, you know, you still got other exercises you wanna hit. Like maybe another compound like walking lunges. You're definitely gonna wanna hit some leg extensions, some leg curls. But my point is, if you, you spend a good amount of time at squats and you do that shit good, and you make it intense, your leg day is already complete. Now everything you do after is just extra credit, which is a good feeling. You're like, man, that's gonna, it takes like a big load off your shoulders, but you're like, okay, I got the squats out of the way. Technically, I've already got a great leg day in. Now everything I'm doing is just putting the icing on the cake. Everything I'm doing now after the squats is putting icing on the cake. Let's put the cherry on top. You know what I'm saying? So it's always a good feeling for me when I knock the squats out. Now back to what I was saying too, you should be scared of your fucking leg day. Think of Tom Platts. Tom Platts had the greatest legs ever, right? But he, was, he would say, I was terrified of my leg day because he knew he was gonna fucking slaughter that shit and walk out and actually absolutely like torment his legs, torment his damn soul doing those fucking squats the way he did them and just everything he did. So you should be scared. No, no other body part competes with leg day. Everything else is like a walk in the park. Legs, it's painful, it's grueling. That's why not a lot of people have big legs because they don't want to do shit like that. They just want to do four sets of eight. They want to do four sets of 10, five sets of 10. It's not enough. And like I showed you, getting to the top of the pyramid isn't enough. Like that four plates for four reps, yeah, it's difficult. But guess what? I would rather do four plates for four reps any day than fucking come down and do like three plates for 15 or three plates for 20 or two plates for 20 at the end of your workout. That's where the fucking pain is really at. That's when your muscle's so exhausted and shit's burning and you still gotta bust out more reps. That's when it's like, God damn, this shit sucks. Four plates for four is like a breeze. You're just like, oh yeah, it's heavy, but yep, here we go, four. It's like your muscle ain't even burnt out. Your muscle's only burnt out at that weight. So when you drop the weight, you can hit more. When you drop the weight again, you can hit more. Now you start to freaking unravel those layers and show you where the real pain is at and where the real gains are at, right? So think of it like that, man. Next leg day, fucking go hurt yourself in a safe way. <laughs> Keep your fucking core intact. Don't blow out your lower back, etc. Push yourself. That's how you get big legs and do that shit and challenge yourself every fucking leg day. You know, <laughs> yeah, I'll just leave it at that. Now we can move on to something else.
fuck. Yo, there's not a goddamn thing pleasant about those. Holy fuck. Ah. Ah. Don't nobody want to do that shit. Whew. Wow. Whew. Motherfucker, we did it. Oh my God. Three sets of that shit. It's just brutal. It's ridiculous, man. That's how you get big legs. Shit is not fun. Not fun. Not one bit. Um, when you need to chill and drop the weight is when your lower back starts getting involved and spazzing out. That means like your legs are giving out and not supporting you as much as they should, or your core is not supporting you as much as you should, and it starts going, the tension goes to your lower back. You can always readjust yourself and like re-squeeze your legs re-embrace your core to protect it again but eventually shit be fried and you can't even protect yourself anymore so you just gotta that's your sign that didn't happen to me these reps but i did feel it like i had to keep readjusting myself and making sure i was in good form you know so good good stuff good work And now we can move on to something else, bro. I'm pretty done with compounds. I don't need no more fucking compounds right now, bro. So we're just gonna take it to the leg extensions and the leg curls and we will be done. The way my legs feel, believe me, that's all we need right now. God damn. Shit, when your leg days are like this, bro, I promise you the only fun part is doing some damn leg extensions or leg curls, anything other than a compound. Cause this is like, you know, we still make this hard on ourselves. The leg extensions, you know, we're gonna squeeze, we're gonna make it burn, but it's just nothing compared to doing all those goddamn squat drop sets and those fucking lunges after the squats. Oh my God, it was brutal. So, this is the fun part. This is like the, the wind down, if you will.
Whew. It's just not as brutal. You can still drop set these, you know? Drop set them. Going from really heavyweight to lightweight with these is fucking fire. Cause it's like the next wraps are just like butter, but like they still feel heavy and you can just feel your quad muscles even more. And it just feels like these reps, I don't know, these reps just feel amazing. When you go immediately from heavyweight to lightweight. It's like a different type of tension. With the heavyweight, it's like that fucking blunt force trauma, which is great. And then you immediately drop it to something light that feels like butter, but it's like, ah, you just feel the reps really good. And it still feels heavy because your legs are so exhausted. I like doing sets like that. And even with all the burn that you get from doing these sets, like I said, it's nothing compared to fucking the damn squats and the walking lunges and any other compound you want to do after that shit. God damn. Heavy. See, we burnt out. Heavyweight. Can't do no more with the heavyweight, but drop that shit down. You got some more in you. That's it, bro. I want you guys to try that with the leg extensions, man. Put the weight at something heavy, like 200. Burn out with it, then drop that shit down to something like 70 and burn out again. And that'll be one set. So it's like two sets in one, it's like drop sets every set. But those sets, mad effective. Mad effective. Get the blunt force trauma, boom. Big hits with the heavyweight, drop it, and you just grind that shit out with the lightweight, perfect reps, and you just feel it really good. Trust me. So you can do the same technique with these, 
like right there, that was 100 pounds. I burned out. Now you drop it to 40. And you can burn out with that. You don't have to do that every set, but it's a way to get the most out of your set. And you'll know each set is effective if you do that shit. Ah. Tough. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> but this is way better than, way easier way less stressful than the squats and the walk and lunges, you know? It's like a nice walk in the park. Still tough, still burns, still shredding the fucking muscle, but it's just not as stressful, man. And we're still making the reps hard as fuck. We're burning out every set, and we're doing a drop set like every set with the heavyweight burnout, drop it to the lightweight burnout. So it's like the most intense you can do. It's like the most intense thing I could do but it's just so much easier still and way less stressful than the goddamn squats and lunges. Sheesh. And sometimes I even throw a third compound in there, but today we're all right. I believe I hit legs um, Tuesday. I hit legs on Tuesday, which is today's Saturday. So Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, we hit legs four days ago. So yeah, it's all good. Fuck that third compound. All right, let's check the weight real quick. Damn, son, 216. 216. Yo, I'm about to roll out real quick. Cause goddamn, I, I just wanna like decrease some of the soreness that my legs is gonna get from this. So I'm gonna roll out and let's talk about, let's talk about the workout, let's talk about the weight in a sec. I'm home, I'm eating post-workout meal right here. We got ground beef and some rice, some cheese sprinkled all over, you need to see that. Yes, sir. All right, let's talk about that leg day, man. Let me start with, I ain't do no calves. You wanna know why? If you're gonna do calves, bro, you better start with calves because Ain't nobody got time for calves after all that shit. The last thing you want to do is hit some damn calves, bro. You just want to get the hell out the gym. Um, so it's not like we did that many exercises, but when you just make each workout super quality and you just obliterate the muscle, that's where, that's where the quality is at. And um, my clear sign where it's like, yo, bro, you're cool on legs is when like your legs are giving out and the um, tension starts going to your lower back. So that was kind of happening to me at the very end of the squats because we did that triple drop set and it's like the legs were getting so burnt out that I started to feel my lower back spaz a little bit. Not enough to fuck it up because it just got to that point. And that's where it's like, once I get to that point, I know it's like done. Don't go past that point because it's just gonna be just bad for your lower back. Same thing with the lunges. I did three sets. Those fucking, those laps were so goddamn long, man. There were like 20 steps there and 20 steps back. So it was just tough after the squats. And then towards the end, I felt my lower back kicking in. Once again, I didn't let it spaz out too much because I kept readjusting, bracing, and getting it right. But it's just like if I did another one, I probably wouldn't have the control to be able to do that. So that's what you got to consider. And the legs just felt obliterated. They, you know, it was good. We did enough. Um, that's how you get big legs, man. The key to big legs, it's not just volume and it's not just heavy weight. If you ask me, you gotta do both. You gotta do heavy weight for volume. Like four plates for four reps ain't enough. Doing two plates for like 30 reps, it's not gonna be enough. You gotta find that sweet spot for you where it's like it's heavy weight and you get some volume in there. So like three plates for fucking 12, three plates for 15, shit like that. What we did, we did four for four, dropped it down to three for 10, and then we did 20 for, or two plates for 10. So in the total, it's like, that's 24 reps right there of constant tension, and it's like heavy weight, and that's what you gotta do. You gotta find ways to uh, 
hit heavy weight for volume. There's a lot of ways to do that. Maybe you stop the pyramid at three plates and you hit um, three plates for like 15 and you next set you do three plates for 15 again. You know, shit like that. You can, you can do things like that. But what we did was we just went up the pyramid and came back down the pyramid with more volume. But our volume coming up the pyramid was still kind of good. You know, we hit three plates for 10, uh, three plates and a half for eight. So that's good volume still. And it's fucking the legs up four for four. And then we come back down with a 10 and a 10. Um, but it was like a drop set. We rushed down the pyramid. So really difficult. That's what you got to do, man. Whoosh. Fucking hair is crazy. Um, but yeah, get your leg days in. And then with the leg extension, the leg curls, a method I like to use is a drop set almost every set. So it's like put a hundred pounds on there, burn out, drop it to 50. Next, increase it, go 140, drop it to 70. Increase it again, go 200, drop it to 100. And like these are one set, but it's like a drop set in the set. So it feels like two sets, but it's just really one set. You're just, it's like an extended set. Um, and that's where the gains are at because you're getting heavy weight and you're getting volume with it, getting the best of both worlds, and it feels amazing on your legs. Uh, so that's all we did. And I'm happy with it because I'm conditioning myself. My squat strength is coming back. Um, I didn't have any hip pain, no hip pain at all, which is beautiful, especially with that weight. Didn't even use a belt. And I'm happy with that progress. So we'll try to even just keep it going up um, from there, we'll try, you know, we'll, we'll try to hit like four plates for eight next time or just keep conditioning the squats because like I said, my goal with this bulk is mainly to get the fucking legs big. So I need to train for like three more months and really just grind the legs out. And I think they'll respond really well. That's the goal. So very happy with what we did. Um, another thing about calves is you don't always have to hit calves on leg day. And you need to hit calves often if you want them to grow. So sometimes just, you could hit calves on chest day, back day, arm day, just like a good thing I used to do back in the day was like I'd take my pre-workout and while I wait for the pre-workout to kick in, I'd go hit calves and just get a nice calf pump and then start my workout. And doing it at the beginning of the workout is just like easy, not not stressful. You're not even worried about it, it's, it's easy. But if you do it at the fucking end of your leg day, it's just annoying. The last thing you wanna do is sit there and do fucking four to eight sets of calves. It's just like, let me get the fuck out of here. So that's how I was feeling. Um, 216 pounds on that scale. That's awesome. We had some food in our belly. You know, we had some meals and so like we had some food, which is good, man. 216 pounds, holding the weight well. That's how we got to do it. I'd advise you to stretch, man. Come up with a nice mobility stretch routine after a leg day like that. Not even for leg day, just do it in general because you're going to want nice mobility. You're going to want to be stretching. But to recover from a leg day like that, get a nice uh, mobility routine in. That's what I'm about to go do right now, go to the gym <clears throat> and just do some uh, mobility, do some handstands. And I couldn't find a place to get like a nice place to show my pump because the lighting sucked at that gym. So I'll just like pose in front of the gym, uh, pose a little bit and just see what the pump was looking like. See how it, what it did to my legs. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this. I'm just gonna show you some handstand highlights and uh, that's it. Need to take a rest day. I need to take a rest day. And in that rest day, I'll show you like my mobility routine, some of the stretches that I've been doing. And maybe it'll be like an active rest day. I can do some of the calisthenics and show you what I've been working on as well. And maybe go to the hot tub or something like that. But yeah, man, I'll see you guys next time. Much love. Let's go.